John, um, what's it been like to have such a big breakout at the biggest meet and be a part of these relays and that hundred back? Uh, it's pretty so surreal. It doesn't really even sink in yet. I mean, like from like high school, I've been dropping a lot of time, but then last year, I think like I always thought to myself, well, stop somewhere, and so. But it's just good to see that like hard work and training and like getting sleep and everything pays off in the end. So I could definitely say that this year just just feel a lot better, a lot looser, and sleep better. <laughs> we know that Eddie likes to be his hyperbole a little bit, but he said that you and your mom recruited him at first. Yeah. Can you tell us about that? Um, so this is like NCSA is my junior year when um, Still didn't know if I wanted to swim or play football or just do anything with my life. And so my mom, of course, is just like, I'm at the swim meet with all these college parents. I don't really, like, this is all going over her head, and I'm just, like, there having fun in Florida. And she comes up to me. She's like, John, all right, now I met the Texas coach. I introduced myself for for him, and he wants to talk to you. And I was like, who? Uh, what's his name? <laughs> so my mom, like, comes and points him out. And then I talked to him, and of course, Eddie's just being Eddie. He just make, cracks jokes, doesn't really talk about swimming, asks like a, one or two questions about it, but then just has like a normal conversation. So just got to know him, didn't really think I'd end up swimming for him at all, or like whether Texas was good. Never, never really, even before my recruiting trip, like thought of Texas as being like an option for me. So, yeah. Are his jokes still as funny? Yeah, some of the jokes you gotta you gotta laugh to make them make them uh, a happy guy, and so practice can be a little better. But um, <laughs> other than that, yeah, he's a good he's a funny guy. He's got some good witty jokes. So John, did you think um, after last night that Brian Murphy was more beatable than he was coming into the meet with his best being forty three four, and then last night you essentially taking him down in the relay or at least being really close? Yeah, I mean, it, I was, I mean, I, Ryan Murphy's the 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 greatest um, backstroker there ever is, but like seeing him at the Olympics and seeing him last night, and I know from like Joe's my roommate and he tells me how like hard the 800 free relay is on Wednesday and then you got three more days after that. And so seeing him do that for the first time, I bet it's just like really hard for him. But yeah, definitely have that in my mind. <laughs> Joe said last night that you guys wanted to have a lead and not have the back end guys bail you out on the, on the 400 medley relay. So. What was it like seeing that that was really happening and that you guys were putting up a historic time like that? Uh, I don't really know. I mean, Will and I always joked about it because we didn't think it would, it would be possible. We've, uh, I mean, he's caught us up. Him and Jack have caught us up single-handedly on um, on the relays the past two years. So take the edge off a little bit for him this year, and that was pretty fun. Yeah. Um, the moment of being national champion, I, I guess you had that last year as well, but does it ever get old I guess is the question uh no of course not I mean every each race and every event and every session is just a new session like Chris Kubik always says each like each session is a new session start over zero zero and then you just got to finish the session strong so I mean each race watching Townley win the two again and then Clark having a great swim doing what he does like every day it just, it never gets old. Your adrenaline starts pumping and butterflies in your stomach. Just gotta keep it going. Cool, well, congrats John, thanks. Thank you.